you are going to find this video interesting and useful if you use Elementor to make websites for yourself or for your clients. In this video, I am going to show you how you can upload and host Google Forms locally in Elementor Pro uh, so that it doesn't load from the Google servers or uh, Google servers and why you should uh, what are the reasons you should like upload and host Google Forms locally uh, in Elementor because uh, when the website loads and if when the website loads and if you are using Google Forms load it up from their CDNs uh, like CDN servers remotely and it is going to increase the page load time so that is a big issue so to in order to save that page load time you can upload you can just choose the uh, variants you need suppose you are using uh, like a google font called poppins okay and you are only using two font variants two font weights like for one is 700 uh, 700 font weight and another one is like 400 font weight and you only need these uh, two variants but when you are using loading up for google fonts like remotely and uh, then it's going to load up all the font variants so that's a big issue so uh, in this process we are going to see like how we can uh, only use the font weight variants we need instead of loading up everything and this will also help us to like save up like reduce the page load time and uh, now so now let's get started and just show you how it's done so it's uh, just follow along so this is one of my websites which i made for a like a tv repair guy a uh, few like in 2020 so like now I am going to add Google Fonts to it and this is a page landing page template which, is, which I loaded up to show you like how can use Google Fonts, how to upload and host Google Fonts. So firstly I am going to go over here and just pick a font okay, pick a font like which looks different, I can pick this one. Okay. Let's just let's just pick pick this one. Just it's just to show you how it's done. Okay, so that's why let's let's pick this one. So now you are going to see that. You see. Now let's just go through this like just go through this like what kind of font weights are available. The regular is four hundred. And. They only have 400 and 700 pixels which is the bold one and extra bold one is called uh, extra bold one is called 800 okay and so now which I am going to do I am going to download this font family Sevelina okay sorry so I think they only have this font right 400 okay so now let us just download this font family okay and it's going to download over here show in folder go to files and here is the font family called Savelina. okay what i can do i can just extract this folder over here you need to extract here okay open up this folder and you see two this is the font file okay the when you are you are going to get the font files in ttf format dot ttf so now what you are going to do you are going to go to the dashboard okay i am going to open this up in a new tab dashboard okay it's opening up so let's wait a bit okay so uh, for this process you need to have elementor pro installed Okay, Elementor Pro installed and otherwise you can just use a custom fonts plugin in case you don't have Elementor Pro. So I am going to show you if in case you have when you have Elementor Pro installed, hover over Elementor over here and then go to custom fonts and then uh, there is no custom fonts right now. So this is called Savalina. So I am just going to copy this 
and add this as a new font ok. And then I am going to just know what is the name of the font. So, as I showed you that the font file is in .ttf format. So, you need to upload over here ok. So, now let us upload over here ok. So, now I am going to publish this font almost done ok. Great. So, the this font is published and you see there showing you a preview of how the font looks like ok. And now I am going to go to this uh, page template I am going to reload the page. So, that we can see the updated page with which also got the uh, the new font we uploaded right now ok. Now, just let it load a bit. Okay, it's loaded. Fine, great. Okay, so now this is a this is a title block. You see, this title block is big. I'm going to go to style, typography, and then I'm going to click over here font family. Oh, click again. Sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, now it's showing up. Okay, great. So, under custom fonts, you will find the new like the Google font we upload which we uploaded locally in Elementor. Under custom fonts, you are going to find this font ok. Now, I am going to click over here and now you see it just changed to the font which we uploaded. Now, this is locally uploaded ok. Now, you are just going to save it. Uh, so, this is how you like download and upload Google fonts locally in Elementor. So, that uh, it is going to save you the page load time, it will have a lower page load time and uh, so and, and, and I have also heard that in Europe that you are not allowed to use Google fonts not to load I mean not to load Google fonts from like their CDN servers. So, this is how you can you can use this approach and I hope this will help you out. So, thank you for watching this video and if you found this video then please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.